To address vote buying woes ahead of the 2022 elections, we have with us on the show Namfrel Treasurer and Council Member Lito Averia. Welcome to the big story, Mr. Averia. Yes, good evening, Roby. Uh, sir, kagaya nga po ng sabi natin, I mean, this is, this is not new. Even the Catholic uh, leadership had said this, you know, just take the money as long as you vote um, uh, according to your conscience. Now, on the other hand, yan ang sinabi ni, ni, ni Vice Lady Rebredo. She's clarified. She's not condoning it. In the meantime, other candidates are handing out uh, cash, are handing out goods. Uh, are any of these candidates at this point accountable for their actions and their words with regards to vote buying? Again, let's clarify. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. Hmm. Okay. But these activities, yun nga, may loopholes sa batas. No? That there's a loophole in the law that they become official candidates only at the start of the campaign period or even perhaps when the COMELEC issues the official list of candidates. No? Uh, so the candidates take advantage of this loophole. Hmm. But in the eyes of uh, many, this is already a form of vote buying, influencing the uh, voters to vote for them. Mm. In the meantime, sir, I guess equally important to the values and even the question of what is right or what is wrong is ano bang enforceable? Now, we're heading into elections, high-tech na magpasahan ng pera ang mga tao ngayon. Di, mobile phone na, wala na pa cash-cash. How much harder is it to monitor and to enforce rules on vote buying? I, I guess it's more difficult a hundredfold, no? Because then you don't have uh, the, the evidence that you'd find in the election in nature and that would be very difficult to uh, collect hmm. unless of course you're able to intercept the messages hmm. right so in in terms of a free and fair elections what's the most that we can mm -hmm. hope for in terms of you know in terms of vote buying well again uh, we have to be able to define very well uh, you know, the periods when they can start, uh, when, when, when uh, start banning these kinds of activities, whether it's uh, passed on as a charity work, and, and remember this being done before the elections, whether it's passed on as a charity work or aid or ayuda, right? Uh, it would still form part, it would still look like vote buying and influencing the voters you know, to, to vote a certain way. So there must be, uh, we have to look at you know, and, and formulate some reform in our laws to define what exactly it is and when it is, uh, when the period of, of uh, banning the act uh, can happen. Okay, Mr. Averia, maraming salamat po. Lito Averia is a Namfrel Council member.